Ooh, it is cold out here. Hey everybody, how many different ways do you think there are to hide things in native script land? You might have used visibility before, you might have used opacity, and if you're working with Angular, you might have used ngif. But do you know the difference between them? I've got Shiva today to explain the differences to us. That's coming right up. Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Alex. Today I've got Shiva to demonstrate the differences between visibility, opacity, and ngif in native script. Shiva's been on the channel before. Check out some of his other videos right here on this channel talking about native script and giving different tips, tricks, and tutorials here as well. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel to get more of these kinds of videos. All right, Shiva, take it away. Hi, Shiva here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the differences between visibility bindings, opacity, and NGF in NativeScript. All the views in NativeScript are visible by default. And you can see here, I've uh, attached a tap event on the first box. And if I click on it, you see that the box was tapped. The second box here, uh, it contains a label which has visibility set to hidden. And it also has the same tap event. If I click on it, you see that I'm not able to tap on it. But you see that uh, that box is still taking up the same space. Now if I change the visibility to visible, you see that I'm able to tap on that box. Hide it again, can't tap anymore. Just below that, I've set up a grid layout and it has two labels. Uh, as you know, grid layout allows you for layering multiple uh, native script UI elements. So there are two labels in there actually. And the one behind is the red one that you're able to see now. And one in front of it is having visibility hidden. And if I tap on it, you see that the red box was tapped, which is the box behind. That means if you have a visibility hidden item in front of something else in NativeScript, then your tap event will fall through. So if I set the visibility to visible here, if I set it to visible, you can see if I click on it, hidden box was tapped. Set it back to hidden again. Now if I tap it, it's tapping on the box behind it. Next, let's look at visibility collapse. As you can see, if a box is collapsed or a view is collapsed, it's no longer taking up that space. And of course you can't tap on it. If I change it back to visible, I can tap on it now and you can see that's visible. Now. Let's look at opacity. I have a box inside this uh, border uh, which has opacity set to zero and it has a tap event. And if I tap on it, you can see that I'm still able to tap on it even though the box is not visible to you. And now if I flick this switch, that same box now has opacity of one and I'm animating it in and I'm still able to tap on it. Below that, I have the same setup with a grid layout and two labels um, right here. There are two boxes there and the one in front has opacity zero. Now, if I click on it, you can see opacity zero box was tapped. That means if a, bo if a box or if any NativeScript view has opacity zero, it takes up space and it doesn't let any tap events or gestures fall through it. Finally, we have ngif. If you have ngif set to false, then that, that view is not drawn at all in native script. Now, if I flick the switch on, you can see that that view was loaded and you see there's a log here as well, that ngf box was loaded. If I take it off, you see that ngf box was unloaded. Put it back in and you see ngf box was loaded. The difference here is if you have visibility collapse, then you see that the collapse box was loaded only the first time the app opens or the first time the view loads. Now, no matter how many times I flick this switch, uh, the loaded event of that particular view doesn't fire again. But as you can see for NGF, that is firing every single time. Now let's talk some more about uh, the differences. If you want to animate a view in, then it's always a good idea to combine uh, visibility hidden or uh, visibility collapse with opacity so that then you can animate it in. If you want to see the code for it, it's just, uh, I'm just getting that box and I'm just animating it in. 
setting it to opacity 1 for a duration of uh, 1 second. If you want to conditionally draw UI on the screen, then NGF is a good solution for that. But if you want to show or hide something in the script, then setting the visibility to collapse or hidden is the best way to toggle uh, some UI. And that's all I want to say about the differences between visibility, opacity, and NJF in the script. Let me know if it was helpful in the comments down below. If you know something about this topic that is not covered in this video, feel free to comment that below and let us know. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, Shiva. That was awesome. I hope to see you again very soon on this channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. You'll get native script tips, tricks, and tutorials here, just like you saw today. And check out some of the ones that we already have available on the channel. And I will see you next time. Happy native scripting.